back to the channel. It's the third Saturday of the month, so that means it's time to learn a skill. And we asked for y'all to vote on our last video, and by popular demand, everyone said goat milk ice cream. So that's what we're doing. Now, the cool thing is, you could do this same recipe with cow's milk. Just because you're not homesteading like we are doesn't mean you can't can take some control of your food and make delicious homemade products at home. My ice cream that I have really enjoyed making is a custard based ice cream. And I'm also at the end gonna be using the KitchenAid ice cream bowl. I really love it and I'll talk more about that later. I am tripling my recipe because of the custard base that you have to heat, you heat it up and you cook it. So you wanna get that cold. I usually make it triple the recipe and then I leave it in the fridge and I can make ice cream for the next week or so whenever we want it. Let's get cracking on some eggs. I think this is going to be a double yoker, so we'll see. We have 18 egg yolks in our bowl, and we only use the egg yolks. And then we need sugar. So now we're going to whip our sugar and our egg. Now comes one of the most time consuming parts of this is we have to scald our milk. And now once we scald it, it is not going to be raw milk anymore. But makes a really good yummy ice cream. So six cups of our goat milk. We're gonna bring this milk up to 180 degrees. That'll be scalding it. Find my thermometer before I forget about it. And once that's done, we will mix our milk and our eggs together and we'll go back to cooking it again. So now comes the hard part for me, is taking my time and adding the hot milk to our egg and sugar mixture. You don't wanna add your hot milk to your eggs too quickly because then your eggs scramble and that's not what we want. Okay, bring our milk over here. while we slowly add our warm milk to our sugar and eggs, I've got a pot of water on the stove warming up again to make a double boiler because once this is all mixed in together, sir, once this is all mixed in together, we'll then add it to the stove and cook it until it is nice and thick. So we're not done, but my metal bowl is getting very hot. Every time I do this, I end up cooking and scrambling my eggs. This is the bowl I'm going to use for my double boiler. So I'm going to try, since this bowl is now really hot, to transfer it. This bowl. Now we're gonna take this bowl and put it on my pot of water. And hold on, I'll take you with me in just a second. So I have done this a couple times with my ice cream. And in the past, I've kept it in my Dutch oven. So this time I'm using, once I get my custard base all together, I am putting it in this. I'm doing it, cooking it in a double boiler. Now. The problem I'm going to run into that I'm going to have to think through while this is warming up. I, when this gets up to a 160 degrees and can coat the back of a spoon, I'm going to add three cups of heavy cream and that will stop the cooking process. There's not enough room in this bowl 
to add my cream. I may have to pour this back into something else. So there's our 160. We're gonna see if we coat the back of the spoon. Little bit runny still. So it should be pretty thick, but I mean, it's thick. I can feel the thickness down there. I'm gonna cook it for just a little bit longer. My double boiler. Three cups of heavy cream. And this is, if you had a cream separator, you could use cow cream. I do not have a cream, or you could use a goat cream. I do not have a cream separator. So this is just store-bought. This is just store-bought cream. We're going to let this cool down a little bit. And then we're going to add vanilla. Once again, I don't measure everything. I don't measure the vanilla. Now we're going to transfer this to a mason jar. You could put this in any container you want. You could put it in the fridge in this container with a lid. But my fridge is packed, so I'm going to put it in a mason jar. Those jars will go in the fridge and we will let them sit for about 24 hours. You could do a little more, you can do a little less. I like at least 24 hours because you want those good and cold when you start trying to mix them for ice cream. So, we'll see you tomorrow. So, it's about 24 hours later and we are ready to make ice cream. I do have one of the KitchenAid, KitchenAid ice cream bowls and I really like it. My biggest complaint is it is really messy to get the ice cream out of here, but I think you get run into that with any ice cream maker. And I will say, you need to put it in your freezer at least 36 hours before you make your first batch of ice cream. It says 24, 36. You want it good and solid. But I like it a lot. And we, we just store ours in the freezer. Now this will run for about 15 to 20 minutes. So this has been going for about 15 minutes and I am gonna let it go another five to make it 20 total. But now we're gonna add in some flavor. I'm gonna add in my mess up strawberry jam. This is my first batch of jam and I had too many strawberries, so it's more of a syrup, but it is wonderful in ice cream. I've already done it. And it just so happens that strawberry is my favorite. It doesn't look like it's mixing very well right now, but it does, like when it's done, it's perfect. but it's more of a traditional homemade ice cream where it's really kind of soft and runny. What I do with it is I'll put this in a container and freeze it for several hours and then it's going to be more like a soft serve, not even a soft serve, I guess between like a soft serve ice cream and like a carton of ice cream when you first open. It. It's kind of in between but it doesn't have those like ice crystals and stuff that your normal homemade ice cream has. It's amazing.
So it froze funny in the thing because I may have frozen tomatoes in the freezer. I need to do something with those, like put them in a bag, but I'm lazy. <laughs> And they're just fine in the freezer on the tray where they were flash frozen. So that's why it was at a funky angle. Some of my favorite ice cream topping is magic. Sorry. is magic shell. So love this stuff. A few months ago, I had looked up a recipe on how to make your own. And I liked it. But uh, apparently the secret ingredient to get it to firm up on the cold is coconut. Co coconut oil. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and my, my recipe that I used, my blend, was very heavy on the coconut flavor. It just wasn't quite as good. It's a lot cheaper though, but. Well, that's firming up for a second. Everything that I use today, or most of it, like my KitchenAid bowl and my little ice cream container is all going to be in the description box and our Amazon storefront. As well in the description is the recipe I used today for the custard base. Some of the best strawberry ice cream you'll ever have. Some of the best strawberry ice cream you'll ever have. You gotta keep Mr. Editor there happy. Next month, which will be on the third Saturday of the month, it'll either be goat milk lotion or homemade cowboy butter. So, I don't know which. I'll surprise you. I'll keep you in suspense. If you have an opinion, leave it in the comments. But that's all I got for you today, guys. Thank you for joining us here at the GWP Homestead. I'm Megan. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.